I love how his eyes sparkle when he smiles. I'm gonna sit on his. Hey, I'm Natasha. You're watching Something About Movies, and this is the review for Bad Teacher. Okay, so Bad Teacher stars Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake, and Jason Segel. Also in the cast is Lucy Punch. Bad Teacher is about a teacher named Elizabeth Halsey, who after one year of working as a teacher is about to retire to go and marry a man that she met who happens to be really rich. And unfortunately, he sees her for who she really is and the fact that she just wants him for his money and he breaks it off. So she ends up having to go back to teaching the next year after the summer and is kind of pissed about it. So her new goal is to save up money for breast implants so that she can meet a new rich guy and marry him. So as far as the cast goes, I thought Cameron Diaz was really funny in this and I'm a fan of her anyway and I always think she's funny but she fit this role really well. Justin Timberlake's performance as the nerdy love interest was uh, reminiscent of Justin Timberlake's circa Mickey Mouse Club and I'm going to put a link to that somewhere either in the video or the description if you don't know what I'm talking about. Tigo was really good but they didn't use him very much. He was probably in about like what, like five scenes. I thought Lucy Punch did a really good job. Um, she plays crazy really well, but um, I really I really liked her character. They kind of portrayed her as this crazy psycho, but really if some bitch comes in and tries to screw up your life and like you could tell that Lucy's character was really into what she was doing and um, Cameron Diaz was just completely screwing it up. So I felt for Lucy Punch's character, whose name was Amy Squirrel. He didn't have a big part, but I was happy to see Thomas Lennon in this movie. I thought his character was really funny and he did that role really well. As far as character development, it was lacking. The first thing that bugged me a little bit was if this teacher hates teaching so much. Why is she teaching? And they really don't put enough into explaining her backstory and you kind of had to guess at it. Like my assumption is that she just went to college for teaching because she didn't know what else to do and along that time in her life she decided that the easiest way was to just marry a rich guy. Hmm. And when it comes to relationships in this movie they really didn't show enough of the development between Cameron Diaz and Jason Siegel for us to draw the conclusion that at the end they're going to get together. It just kind of happened and they didn't really put enough in the movie to show why. Overall I thought the movie was really fun and funny. Um, I feel like they could have made it a bit more raunchy because you could tell that that was kind of what they were going for but I have a feeling that if they had pushed it any farther they would have been knocked to an NC-17 rating so they kind of had to tone it down a bit. But it was a good movie and I enjoyed watching it so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 4. It was good.